Okay. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. It's Friday. I think I'm gonna do a weekend in the life. I just hopped off a call, had a slow morning. Brent's home today, brought some Starbucks. Did we get coffee? My brother's coming over for dinner tonight with some friends, so I'm gonna go to the grocery and get some stuff to cook. I don't know. I think I'm gonna make like a big fried rice dish again because it's like hard to feed a lot of boys because they eat a lot and it just makes a lot of food. I am wearing this top. I think I showed this in my last vlog. Cute little top from Abercrombie. I have these big flowy linen pants that I get so many questions. I have these in tan and white from Zara. They're the best pants ever. And then I'm wearing my new obsession from skims it's i think it's called the unlined bra skims has been one of my favorites for years they have just been creating the most amazing pieces my favorite collection is the fits everybody collection it's been just a go-to for me like through pregnancy through postpartum i'm so excited to be partnering with skims i've been a ride or die fan and wearing it for years so i'm just really excited to be sharing some new pieces that i haven't tried yet and then i'm also going to link down below some favorites that i've just been wearing forever so um starting with some fits everybody collection i have this really cute bralette which i have in the regular like straight across bra which i wore every single day while i was pregnant i have every color and they just fit so well i love skims's full brief it's such a good granny panty you guys like if you're anything like me and you just wear underwear around your house 24 7 i live in the full brief it's so comfortable so thin but still like fits in all the right places feels like you're wearing nothing it's just everything my second favorite and probably most used is the string bikini these are just a really really comfy pair of undies for like jeans sweats all the above if i don't have to wear a thong i'm not wearing a thong like the only time i'm ever grabbing my thongs which the fits everybody collection thongs are the only ones that i will wear which i didn't get any because i just rarely wear them it's like when i'm wearing leggings and that's it so my favorite two undies granny panties t-shirt bra and onyx i had this in a couple other colors if i'm going to wear a bra it's this um and it's just very flattering gives you that tiny bit of padding so really good coverage and a good shape in any shirt that you wear so i love that it's a very very lightweight very thin padding as well they do have a good push-up bra can't even count on one hand the amount of times i've worn a push-up bra in my life so this is more my speed and i love that they have so many different options and their sizing is just amazing whatever size you need whether you're like a 34 36 38 40 size cup size a through double a probably triple a maybe skims is just crazy they have every size possible <laughs> that you would need they have it until i tried the unlined demi bra the t-shirt bra was my favorite but this is what i'm wearing today i think this is in the color oxide it looks like it just looks like a sports bra it has zero padding but it has underwire so it gives you that extra bit of support normally if i'm wearing even a sports bra i sometimes can't wait to get home to take it off something about things squeezing me makes me think i'm like having acid reflux I just hate wearing bras with a passion and i've had this on for hours and i didn't even remember that i was wearing it so that says a lot and i need to go order five more colors because I think this is going to be my new go-to bra, the online demi bra. I'll have it linked down below. It's so good. I have this. Mine's in the color Oxide, which is like a deep brown. So this has zero underwire and zero padding. Feels like buttery soft on the skin from the Fits Everybody collection. This is the triangle bralette and I have this in the same version where it's just like straight across. They're not triangles in like every single color <laughs> i have sizes like small through large because i wore this is all i wore when i was pregnant with sky and i just never took it off i sleep in them i would wear them during the day under everything and they're just perfect so skims it is for me till the day i die it's the best of the best so if you have not tried skims yet they have over a hundred thousand five-star reviews for a reason 
whether it's shapewear, underwear, bras, even their clothing, everything is top tier. And I am the biggest supporter. I think Kim has done such an amazing job with this company. So if you place an order, you can go to skims.com slash Jess to place your order. I'll have my favorites linked down below as well. And then um, free shipping over $75. And then when you are checking out and it says, how did you find out about us? Make sure you click YouTube. And I don't know if there'll be a space to write my name or not. But they told me to tell you that I sent you. So... Check it out. I'll have the links in the description box. Yeah, thank you, Skims. I'm going to go jump in the car so I can get to the grocery store before Skye gets up from her nap. I do this every single time. I go to the grocery store when I'm hungry, which is something you shouldn't do. It's the most darkest down. Like, I'm going to end up buying so much stuff. Watch. I do that every time. For the guys, I got a cookie cake and I had them write LFG on it and the girl goes, does it stand for something? Good morning, back with it again. And we're going to, where are we going, babe? What? No, we are going. Where are we going? Milk tea. Yeah, this is milk tea. We're going to the store? No, no. Because you had a bad day. Okay, what is my hair today? Hi, I bring my camera, no battery. Okay, I'll see you when I get home. I'm in Nashville today, doing a little bit of shopping for, it's Brent's birthday coming up. So I was I'm mainly here for that. Also a new St. Laurent just opened. Well, it's probably been open for a couple months, but I haven't been to the mall in a really long time. So I'm gonna go check that out and yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, we are just leaving the winery. We went to go take some uh, mommy daughter photos because we're in matching outfits today. And we're gonna come back later with friends, probably not today, but maybe this week. And it's so pretty and there's like- you have fun. I did have fun. Brent did so good. He was taking all the photos on this camera. I can't wait to get home and look. Sissy had so much fun, she picked all the grapes now we're headed home but it's the most beautiful day it's really not that hot and it's kind of hot but it's not oh my god it's 90. where on my car it says 80 90 degrees <sighs> but we'll go home and she's got to go for her an nap good morning we're going to the farmer's market today i'm so excited it's my first time going to the one in town and we're all going. We're going with a bunch of neighbor friends. I'm excited. Okay. Yes, the market, baby. What are you gonna get at the market? Me. Did you put sunscreen on her? On yeah. her legs. That's fine. Yeah. I can get. More, I can put more on her. No, it's honestly shaded up there around the whole court. Okay, good. Look at that.
Okay. That was so fun. So fun. I'm so obsessed with our market. I didn't realize it was that big, but I gotta go take this back to Kaylee. Thank God she brought a... This is for breast milk. And I'm and she let me put my steak in here because I didn't even think we were gonna get meat. We got a flat iron. The lady was so cute. Her and her husband, it's like straight off their farm, and she was telling me that this is her favorite. You can see the like little bit of fat in there. It's like 75%, I think. I think it's 75%. And then he gave us this ground beef oh there's the farm name i wonder if you can order meat from there that would be cool but i'm so excited to make this Britton and i found the sourdough and we got we got some fresh sourdough it feels so good i can't wait to cut this open and just have a slice with butter and i got a ton of veggies we have red skin potatoes, really good jalapenos, which I was just trying to get like two and they were like, no, it's $1 for like all these jalapenos. Are you hungry? So then there's like a million jalapenos because you like have to get the whole basket. Red skin potatoes and then yummy fresh cucumbers. I'm gonna make a cucumber salad. I think that's all I got. We got coffees, we got lemonade, we got bagel and cream cheese. The coffee place that I went to is so good. The cold brew is so yummy. I'm gonna get it every single time that I go. He said they're there every single week. Best day ever. What's up guys, it's Saturday. I don't even think I've spoken yet today. And... Babe, we're not there yet. Daddy's getting something in the store. We're at the liquor store getting some wine because my mom's hosting dinner tonight for like everybody. I think Brent's parents are coming. My brother and his friends are coming. Same people that were over my house last night. Um, and then one of Brent's friends that was here last year and he just graduated. So he moved to Knoxville. So he's in town because his girlfriend lives here. Um, I just love that my mom's like this because I'm I think I get this from her But we're like such the more the merrier people and like if somebody like we already had plans with our friends But then if my mom's hosting a dinner, she just like wants everybody to come And so we are just like always always had a full house growing up and I love that I love that it's just like and Everyone just calls her Nene and everybody just knows everyone's always welcome at my parents house and my mom is just like the most welcoming best host ever so it's fun doing stuff and having them in town I really missed like all the years that I didn't get to live by them so this is fun because we're like catching up for lost time we hang out with them all the time but we're just gonna Hi, head baby. there have dinner and then I think our friends are friends are gonna come back to our house because there's what's what's on tonight like what what UFC yeah, what? Is it important? You made it sound like it was like a big... Oh, I mean, it's just... It's a good night. A fight? It's a big fight. It's a fight night? Yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck. Very, very, very slow Sunday today. <laughs> just slide in here like a baseball player. I'm about to do a little toy clean out. Me. If she lets me. We have so much stuff that she doesn't play with, so we're gonna donate it to other kids. Other little boys and girls who don't have any toys, we're gonna give them away, okay? Okay, Mama. Yes, they don't have toys. Some people don't have toys and they're not as lucky and blessed as you. Remember how I said? Uh, Emma. Emma. No, Emma has lots of toys. We don't need to give them to Emma. We have to give them to other little boys and girls that you don't know. Okay. Hi. Where are they? I don't know. They they live in other places. I know. I don't know either, but I do know that they don't have as many toys as you. I know. And they don't, their mommies and daddies, sometimes they can't afford to buy them very nice toys. And it's really nice if we can help them out, okay? Um. I want to climb. You want to climb? Go ahead, baby, climb. 
Do you want help? Can I have a hug? Okay. Can I have a kiss? A kiss. Can you tell Daddy what we're doing? What are we doing? No. Tell him what we're doing right now. No way. No way. No way. So we're pi we're picking out a bunch of toys to give to other kids that don't have toys. Oh. Or Emma. And then she thinks Emma by told her Emma has a lot of toys. We're not giving them to Emma. We're gonna give them to. Other little boys and girls that don't have toys. That's good sharing. Black. You have a million Elsa and Anna's. Anna. That is Anna. Good girl. Let it go. Let it. Let it go. Dang, I love those little, these little like soft guys. Anna. They're so cute. Do you know what that is? Koala bear. Koala bear. Oh my god, you're so smart. Turtle duck. Turtle duck. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday. We didn't vlog yesterday because vlog. Sky. Yeah, we didn't vlog yesterday because Sky was not feeling very well. But I think she's doing better today. We are at Starbucks. She got a cake pop. I got a little wrap thing. Yummy. And today is a very special day because we're going school shopping helping helping for school supplies for sky she starts preschool in two weeks yeah. um, cake pop cake pop and i'm emotional about it i need to pull up your list so we can uh We're gonna do that next. How is your cake pop? Pink. Oh, it's pink. Is it good? Oh, her white. There is white sprinkles on it. Is it yummy? Yeah. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! She loves to come up front. Because she feels like a big girl. One day you're gonna be sitting up here with me. Isn't that crazy? We're gonna be going to we're gonna be going shopping and you're gonna be sitting up here with mommy. Hi. Hi. With no car seat. Can I have a kiss? Car seat. Can I have a kiss real quick? Thank you. That's so crazy to think about that one day she'll just be like sitting up here with me and like going shopping and doing all the things in life. I'm gonna remember you always just coming up here when we park the car. Eating cake pops with me. Cake pop. Cake pop. Yummy. It is so yummy. Um. Anyways, that's what's going on. We're filming a TikTok vlog of what we're doing today. So, gonna pop. try to do. It's hard to do both. That's the thing. Is I love YouTube more than anything because you can get all the details and like what's actually going on. And TikTok's just so fast. Even though TikTok is so entertaining. I don't know, you guys know how I feel about TikTok, but I'm kind of on a little kick right now and I have just been really into it. So are you gonna eat that or are you just gonna mess with it? Your cake pop, your, it's melting all over your hand, poo -poo mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Yummy. And um, what else are we gonna do today? We're gonna- Popping. Go, yeah, we're gonna go shopping. And what else are we gonna do? Maybe play with our friends later. I'm Maggie. Emma and James. A boy. He is a boy. He's a boy. Oh, he's napping right now. I'm a boy. Do you have a crush on him? Do you have a crush on him? That Emma. Oh really? You and Emma both have a crush on him. 
hey, you're so cute, but I have a question. Are you boy crazy? Uh, you're not? Because uh, it kind of seems like it. Uh, okay, I won't tell dad. Guess what? Hopping. I have to tell you something. No way. No, I do. Oh, no way. And yes way, I have to tell you something. No way. I don't even like this. I don't even know why I got this. I panicked. You know when you're in the drive-thru and then you're just like, you don't know what you want. And no one's in front of you, so you don't have time to think about it. That's what just happened. And I'm like squeezing all the stuff out of this because I don't even like it. I used to love this, but it doesn't taste the same. Whoa! Okay. Close that. Open. Open. Please tell me what you're doing right now. Is hey. this fun for you? <gasps> Truck. Red. It is red. <laughs> that was cool. Mommy. Huh. That was so cool. He's gonna go save somebody. Wee wee. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what's hap currently going on. Everything that was in my glove box is now on the floor. Oh, are you gonna put it all back? One was up here. Here, go ahead, put that one back up there. Good job. Okay, that was the biggest fail ever. We're just leaving the store. And, well, it wasn't a fail. We got Ariel toys, but I didn't get any school supplies because Brent has the email, not me, and I can't get a hold of him. So I don't know, and they're, like, very specific on what. Okay, so we didn't get school supplies today because... Yes, got all synced. We should watch it. Um, we got all the Ariel characters from Target today. At least we found this. Who, who is that? The daddy. The daddy, yes. She is so excited about her Ariel toys. Ursula. How do you say, how do you say Ursula? Remember what you call her sometimes? Gray. Yes, she is gray, but okay. The doggy. The pet. Eagle. Eels, not eagles. Eel. Eel. Yeah, eels. Mm. They're bad. Remember, they're bad. Sometimes she calls Ursula Ursarella, and it's so funny. We have our waters, both by Simple Modern. We just got Sky this one. And we're going to bring it, baby. Um, we're gonna go on a we're going on a little walk. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Um, I think I'm gonna go jump in the sauna for a little bit and just try to unwind. Um, I guess we'll just keep vlogging tomorrow. I don't know how long this vlog has been, but I'm gonna go shopping tomorrow. So I figure I'll take you guys with me. And uh, <laughs> sound already. Good morning, guys. Um, we're gonna head to Brent's first practice. Well, no, I think they had practice yesterday. Bye. Bye bye. What is that? Maggie. Uh uh, say bye, Mama. Kiss. Thank you. Okay, we're leaving practice. Did you like disco? Did you like seeing Daddy? Football catch. Football catch. Okay, how funny we're sitting there and we're like sitting in the wrong place. Like I knew we shouldn't have been sitting where we were sitting because I knew we could potentially get run over. But we were like all the way back by the fence, so I just didn't think the first place we were sitting. I thought it was like fine, and then comes this long pass and this like long catch and he's like sprinting at us and he almost takes sky out like it freaked me out and it was <laughs> it was my brother and he goes you need to move her and like thank god he knew we were sitting there because he had already seen us so he was like aware and like he was not gonna hit her 
he was like totally messing but still I was like yeah we need to move so then we moved over and then I felt like I couldn't see anything so Brent came and said hi real quick and then we left but it kind of upset her because she didn't understand why he couldn't stay by us but yeah we're gonna get we're gonna like do that more often so she can really understand this year what her dad does for a living yeah, Dada. He's at work, baby. He coaches football. And um, because now she's old enough to like notice that he's always gone, I think it's really good that I like keep taking her and she can like see what he's doing and stuff so that when I say Daddy's at work, she knows what I'm talking about and that he has the coolest job in the whole wide world, right? Daddy. Daddy. Wait, remember how I said I was done with my house? That was like the biggest lie I ever told myself. Because <laughs> I'm literally ripping apart the bathroom right now to completely redo it. Like I'm so over the bathroom that I just like, I'm just gonna redo it. I don't even care. It's gonna take me two days. Well, today and then probably I can't do it tomorrow because I'll have Sky, but probably Friday um, because my mother-in-law wants to take her for the day. So I'm going to show you guys the after. I didn't film the before because I honestly wasn't planning on doing this and still, until I started like unscrewing the mirrors from the wall and like cleaning out all the drawers and then I just started taking everything off the walls and like rehanging the shelves and whatever else. So. I, w I hope that I can find it before in like an old vlog because I should have taken it before. I'm going to lime wash the whole bathroom. I got new really pretty like warm toned wood medicine cabinet type of mirrors because I hate the mirrors that were in there. And then this will allow all of the shit to get off the counters and up into the mirror like medicine cabinets. I'm obsessed with medicine cabinets. I love to have all of my skincare super accessible and right now I just have them in trays on my counters I used to have them in my linen closet but that just was not practical so this is gonna be a whole vibe and like it's gonna keep my counters really clean and everything off of them and then I can keep my toothbrush and everything in there as well because right now sky is getting in all of our drawers and I can't put child locks on those drawers um, and like taking out our toothbrushes and like playing with them which is nasty so yeah anyways the bathroom is getting redone i'll show you guys what i'm at really quickly before i try to get some more stuff done so it's plain jane i had photos hanging over there that i took down and shelves and i already patched over here but i need to patch this side because the medicine cabinets don't cover it they're like a little bit smaller so that's what's going on. I really want to change the light fixtures as well. But I think we'll keep the light fixtures and the sink things. I just hate this. Like, I wish this was gone and I could put, like, a long mirror or something. I don't know, but it just is what it is. I can't, like, fully renovate it myself. But I'm just going to lime wash and get some, like, wooden mirrors so that it's not so, like, stark black and white in here. Should I paint the cabinets like sage? That would be a vibe too. Oh my God, I'm literally gonna go all out now. Watch me paint the cabinets once I have the walls painted. What the Things have slowed down a little bit now that Brent is back to work. And this is, I swear, he's been back to work two days and I'm already looking for shit to do around the house. It's so crazy. This is Sky's new rug. It's so stunning and it's so unique like it's very low pillow right here and around the whole border we have the fringe and then this it looks very soft but it's actually kind of scratchy and it sheds a bit but it's like a nice wool material it's not it's not scratchy but it's not like how it looks like it looks very plush and soft it is very plush but it's definitely on the like itchier side if you're gonna just lay on it with your skin um, but we got this from Rugs USA. I'll link it down below. It's from a YouTuber's collection. He is an interior designer, I believe. And I've seen his videos before, I swear. I can't think of his name right now. It starts with an A. 
I don't know if it's like Alvin or Arlen or I can't think of his name, but this is from his collection. His collection are my favorite rugs on there right now. There's like four different rugs that I really want to get. I'm going to show you guys how to lime wash. This is my fourth time lime washing. And, okay, wait, the lighting is going to be weird. As it dries, it's going to even out a little more. Like the spots where it's dark right now, it's just extra wet right there. So it won't be this much texture. Um, and the texture is like setting in, but it's still not completely dry right now. This is shade 107. This is the lime wash that I have out in my main space. And then I mixed in 101, which is like a white, or it's like a creamy white. And I mixed it in to get like this medium tone. It's a bit like a warm, warm, warm taupey gray, which is like the most perfect color for lime wash because it looks so realistic. Massive block brush. This one is probably from Home Depot, but I also got one off of jh paints and bauwerk i've used bauwerk i've used jh paints i like jh jh lime wall paint because um i feel like it's easier to work with it's not as watery and you can literally pick up just like straight clay and work with it like that. There's like no wrong way to do it. I also use um, a squeegee sometimes just to get like even more texture. Sometimes I'll use a spray bottle and like help spread it. It's so hard to see like while you're working, if you're doing a good job or not, but I promise it's like so easy. And as it starts to dry, it really just like comes together. So you can be as messy as you want. There's no perfect way. They tell you to do like clouds, like do like a cloud like this a big blob and try to connect it using what's left on your brush which is why I like to use a spray bottle sometimes where's the box cutter good girl I got these new pillows from Jenny King for the living room. These are insane. They're Hello. bigger than I thought. Hello. I recently got a pillow. Go ahead, have it. Hello. It has both tones, like the chair tones and the couch Hello. tones. In them, babe. I just tried so many different, like cheapy ones from Home Goods, and I think spending a little extra is so worth it because when you have dinky cheap pillows it just isn't the vibe you know so i kept just getting rid of all of my pillows that i would try oh yeah she's gonna be comfy i almost want to order more for my bedroom now they sent me some of their like summer like top summer pieces. I just got plain black in their little signature slide. So cute. I got them in like a taupe color too. Oh, they fit perfectly. No screenshots, please. Next, I got this sweater. I think it's called the boat neck sweater. I really like the neckline, how it's like wide. And I sized up to a... <laughs> what is funny? I sized up to a large for like a big oversized fit. I also ordered this really cute little tote bag. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna fit in the box, Levy. I just was feeling the black. So I love with my new little slides too. Okay, and then I got this linen shirt, which is probably my most 
comfy linen shirt at this point. It's in just the natural linen color. I know the lighting is weird. It's storming outside right now. But, um, <sighs> sorry, I just woke up like 0.2 seconds ago and we're already diving into packages because Sky was so excited when she saw the delivery man. So now we're just opening everything. Oh my gosh, he almost scored on you. This is a lot more oversized than I anticipated it to be, like naturally, so it's good. I'm gonna keep it. But yeah, this is free people. I'm obsessed with it. That's the thing about clothes, it's like you don't, you can't knock it till you try it. The fit is so cute, and the sleeves are like this see through lace. Okay, we got this top, also free people. It's a little see through. The biggest, coziest, cutest sweater ever. Um, I can't wait for fall. I got a medium and I need to exchange it for a small because it's just like drowning me. Like it's too big and I don't love the fit. Like it just needs to be a tiny bit smaller, that's all. Which is like nobody ever says. Like I feel like the bigger the better, but I don't know. Maybe this is cute. No. I need it to be a tiny bit smaller. So get true to size. Like even size down <laughs> if you can too comfy and cozy and cute and i love stripes right now i got a green pair of birkenstocks for the fall this year and i really like them i love the color and they're so comfy this might be the best jeans i've ever put on my body i love anine bing jeans and how they fit at least my body they fit really good and these are so 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 cute they still fit really nice but they're oversized and i just love 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 and they have a raw hem at the bottom so i can cut them i'm gonna have to try them on again with like other pairs of shoes and see like what i like them with but i kind of got them for more of a casual vibe um so i'll probably end up cutting them short okay and then these are from a goldie they're new i think they're they're low-waisted like low-rise jeans and they're very, very dark denim. I wouldn't normally pick this wash. Okay, there are the pillows. Here's the pillows styled from Jenny Kane. I almost love them on the chairs too. And it's making me want to get more. Tell me what you guys think, like where I should do these. Oh my God. Or that. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. It's just for like when I straighten up the living room. I'll have these linked down below. And also my, I have a discount code now with Jenny Kane, which is so exciting. I actually used my own discount code to purchase these. I'll share it with you guys. I'll have it linked down below. I think it's Jessica S15, but I'll check on that and I'll put it on screen. best steak i've ever had look how perfect brent and i like ours like medium rare um medium rare well we kind of like it more medium but this is definitely a little more on the red side which i like because it's a flat iron this is a flat iron steak oh i forgot to try that potato and then i have garlic um, and I'm gonna pack this up for him to take to camp tomorrow. Okay, there's the red skin potatoes. I got these at the farmer's market last week and we're going again tomorrow. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're gonna go tomorrow, baby. So I just did red skin potatoes with some jalapenos and then a tiny bit of blackening seasoning, um, coarse salt, some pepper, 
and a bunch of olive oil and they come out so perfect i do them at 375 for like 20 minutes i don't know you guys this is why i don't do cooking videos because i don't make any sense when i cook i just like watch everything as i'm cooking it i already ate my salad but i just used a chopped um lettuceburg and then there's my last bite of steak and then i have red onion I did a little bit of olive oil, a tiny bit of homestyle ranch. It was so good and simple, and a tiny bit of feta cheese as well. <laughs> you like to vlog? Vlog. Yeah. Put your mouth on that, please. And film stuff, you gotta point it. Point it at that. Here. In the back, look, I'm gonna help you. <gasps> Good job. Point it. Yeah, can you see? Point it. Point it like this. Ooh, go get, go film Miley and Mo. Pick her, Mo. Pick her. Oh, cat. Oh, cat. Cat. Oh, cat. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you.